speaking of nothing, I actually did listen through all this shit. Uh, Fenster did do like a response on his Twitch stream, and the gist of this is that, uh, Nina Nina Boo Boo, you can't touch me, you can't touch me. I'm gonna do whatever I want, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, so I will subject you to this, and I'll do a, a reaction to each one of these clips. <laughs> X Josh, this dude. He was, this guy was, or is the owner of Kiwi Farms, if you've heard of it. It's basically, I looked in, I, I had to get told about the guy, so I googled him. So, this guy, like, uh, he, sorry, I'm dead naming uh, Twitter, X, even, even, anyway. So, this guy had an issue with me, and he made a, 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 a thread, which was so goddamn funny. And I had, like, this whole video planned. I was gonna, like, ah, oh, dude, I was gonna do a video on it. Um, but he's, <laughs> but he's banned, and, uh, it's not really worth it. Hold on, let me do... Hold on. The sheer, <laughs> the sheer giddy and jubilation he has in knowing that Elon Musk and the, the, the Janny trannies of X will just ban people for whatever fucking reason. Oh, yeah, this isn't an issue anymore. Elon took care of it for me. The Janny trannies on X took care of it for me. Uh, also, just like the disrespect, like the audience, knowing that it'll be clipped. Yeah, I'm going to be like a gross faggot the entire video. And when it gets clipped and listened to, people know that I'm a gross faggot. And I have zero respect for them. And I'm not going to address these seriously because I don't have to because the Janny trainees will sweep it up for me. I took like a screenshot of the original tweet because I wanted to show someone about it. One minute. Let me see if I can find it. That's porn. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh... Just like so porn sick that he pulls out his phone and tries to find anything. It's just like, oh, and so flippant about him too. Like, yeah, I know that I'm streaming and shit on Twitch, but uh, I can talk about being like a gross gooner all I want. Um, shit. Anyway, so this guy, uh, he made a thread about, uh, this was the original thread. Look how many views it got. This is fucking crazy. This blew up over, over on Twitter. Um, it got like, this was the original tweet. The first sentence in this is the bet I genuinely contemplated changing my Twitter bio. <laughs> Hold on. Finster, Jude Howarth, that is my full name, thank you. Um, the Times ducks me first, it doesn't matter. A pornographer and children's entertainer on Twitch. Hey chat. Hey chat. Uh, you know, you remember the, the, the children's entertainer bit? I love that, because half, half of this thread and the replies, I, obviously the thread's deleted so I can't find it, which it sucks, but all the replies are like, don't dox yourself? Dude, this is out there. Um, all the replies are just oh, like, wow. he do he's this fucking streams Roblox and Minecraft, and like, this is... Uh, dude, I gotta show you a quick thing. You can check this. I don't know, I, I get that no one has time to do any of this. Um, but like, if you go onto this uh, website, just Twitch Tracker, you don't even need to scroll through my thing. You just press games. And you can see that just FYI, I have not streamed a video game, any video game, not even, not even Minecraft or a kid's game, any video game, since this is a, sorry, I'm going to go hard on this one. This is a pet peeve, dude. This is a pet peeve of mine, because even if you still fucking Google me, or like even in goddamn Philosophy Tube's video, she goes like, oh, it's a gamer, a gaming streamer. No, I don't do games anymore, man. I quit that shit a year ago. Ten months ago. He says a full year ago. That's not true. Um, he was streaming. He His last Minecraft video is his Minecraft. His like fucking YouTube channel for Minecraft is still up. It's less than ten months ago that he put out a video um, on his main channel, which is the, the fundamentals of his, of his popularity. He didn't gain notoriety. He didn't gain half a million subscribers uh, by being a tranny on Twitch. He gained half a million subscribers by being... A Minecraft YouTuber. Now, I ask you, who watches a Minecraft YouTube video? Probably kids. Um, I discussed this on the first time that I talked about this, but it's like, it's it's such a snake way of addressing that point. Like, you can complain all you want that people think that you're a video game streamer, and the answer is that people think that you're a video game streamer because you stream video games for almost your entire career. Um, it's the only reason why anyone knows who the fuck you are, and you're not just some weird ghetto trash no viewer tranny streamer of which there are like a thousand on twitch um and he's <laughs> he finds it very funny to be called a pornographer and children's entertainer because he knows uh we currently live in a time frame where being a gross sex pest with an inappropriate relationship uh to to kids has no penalty if you're doing it under the guise of gender activism 
then you can get away with literal murder at this point in time, and nobody bats an eye. Even when you get millions of people uh, paying attention to what you're doing, uh, you can just get people deleted. You can get content removed anywhere on the internet. You can wave it away. You can laugh about it. You can make it your bio as like an end joke, um, and nothing happens as a as a consequence. And he knows it. There was, dude. Okay, anyway, sorry, I hate this. I, if you used to, my Wikipedia thing used to be, like, gamer. Dude, awful. If you, say you're, if you say you're underage, you'll be banned. Agreed. Good, rightly so. The only game that I have... So his role on um, Twitch and Discord... Or, sorry. Okay, so this is how this works. Um, I have seen his Discord. I've actually archived all of his Discord. And I've uh, spent some time looking through it and searching for specific terms. If you are, if you say that you're underage, you're allowed to be underage in his Discord. You're not allowed to be underage and admit to watching his Twitch stream. If he, if he says, if you say in his Discord that you watch him on Twitch and you're known to be underage, they will try to ban you from his chat. But that doesn't mean, you know, anything. Uh, obviously, he has a significant underage fan base. Um, I can prove this, by the way. I can prove this with very contemporaneous, uh, contemporaneous chat logs. Um, in particular, I have chat logs indicating something um, which he would deny uh, in regards to being a groomer, and I can conclusively prove that he is involved in, like, pink-pilling kids. Um, and I'm just going to have to wait until a mo more appropriate time to drop that at this point. I've streamed one game in the last two years, and it was... Call of Duty. <laughs> Not my best selection of game, but, you know, caught like an 18 plus game, and I played it for <laughs> 0 0.2% of my channel. I played for two hours. Exactly the same time as I played Half-Life, which makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, <laughs> Call of Duty, a 18 plus game? Call of Duty. Um, what's the most recent one? I'm kind of curious. I don't keep up with Call of Duty. Released in 2024, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Rated. Does he even get ESRB ratings anymore? ESR. Oh, is this not out? Is that why it doesn't have a rating? What Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3? For some reason, the fucking the Wikipedia page doesn't list its ESRB rating. So then again, ESRB could just be like so old that like it doesn't say like how old you have to be to play it in the U.S. So I think it, like to say it's an 18 plus game is fucking absurd. Like there's no more stigmatized demographic for being squeakers and raging teenage boys than the people who play Call of Duty. So that's kind of... It is rated M. What does that mean? You have to be 17 plus to buy it? That's fucking ridiculous. Anyway. So. Sort by last scene. Can I do that? Yeah. Look at that. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Just chatting. Pools in hot tubs from that... Uh, from the thingy ma shit. And then COD and then Minecraft. Hell. Yeah, dude. Ugh, a fateful day. I have stopped gaming. I'm like a fucking... I feel like I got old. I stopped playing video games. I did play a game... I played a game last night, though. The one that... Um, body Cam. I played Body Cam. The game where it's, like, super hyper-realistic and is terrifying to play, by the way. I don't know if you've played that, the Body Cam game yet. You're 23, dude. I know. I just feel like I'm old now. And never too old to be a gamer. No, I, okay. Sorry. I'll change old. I feel like I'm boring now. Because I don't. There's, um, <laughs> anyway, there's, uh, anyway, so, okay, anyway, this tweet thread got made, blah, 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 um, basically. Okay, I'll pause it there to show you the channels. What's really weird is that if I, so this is his main channel, um, mine, I showed this on stream as well, Minecraft YouTuber, shoop de whoop diamond armor thing, last video 11 months ago. Hitch! They updated yes. mining XP! Dude, I was just mining. Look at this. Okay, I want you guys... To, I, I didn't play this on stream, so I want you guys to give me, like, an over-under. How... What age demographic do you think that this is uh, developed for? 
Go into my island. I mine on this thing. Max rated best thing ever. Cobblestone cube. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called a tower. I don't know. 1,500, right? For mining. Which was more than I remembered it. So then I went over here. And then I went, okay. And I mined this for a second. And yeah, this is way better. 3,500. Yeah, that's about Yeah, I would say that this is like for like 40-year-olds. 40 40-year-old 40 women. I, I imagine that someone's mom would watch this. I think that's the target demographic. Oh, finally. Oh, my God. All right. Should I? It's weird, though, because you like, this is the guy, right? You take it. The verified half a million uh, subscriber YouTube content creator for Minecraft. And then you search it, and it's like, this shit. Like, look at this shit. Look. It's right there. There it is. But when you search it, you get his training account, which is just called Finster Live. And this is where he talks about sex hormones for kids. <laughs> like, <laughs> he does the, the, the pool streamer. He got all his shorts so he can integrate into that, that um, oh, look, 1.7 million views on this. God can strike me down if I'm lying. That motherfucker's cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating so hard. It's the eyelashes. Look. Dude, watch this. Just, like, fucking gross. It's just right there. It's like he didn't even, he didn't rebrand. He didn't do anything. So he's not like a fucking game streamer where here's the the weird tranny shit here's him and his tranny boyfriend hanging out at comic con and uh yeah here's his youtube uh video account that has half a million subscribers he's gonna say yeah that's not me oh uh, miss me with that that was 11 months ago fuck you it's shitting on the thing of like um <laughs> oh sorry uh, uh, uh the whole the whole tweet thread is about the it was made about that i was doing the like the charity thing now the fun thing about that is uh, it's basically like behind the scenes and obviously all of this is just speculation from people which is really funny So I really appreciate the line um, Delivering hormones to children which is not gonna be done. I don't know where the fuck that fact got I don't know how the fuck that happened <laughs> this is, Even if you oh, dude, why did I not fight God Twitter should not I'm actually on the side of this guy I should probably I should probably say Twitter should not have banned him like, yeah, sure, he spread misinformation and everything, but I wanted to fucking talk about it. And also, he got- he didn't even get banned for this, I don't think. He got banned for, like, uh, I get that he got, like, everything wrong, but you're coming in and giving surgery to children through the windows. I am. There was, um, <laughs> like, oh, fuck, I lost where I was- goddamn, my place was. Yeah, okay. He got banned for, like, making, like, a Nazi joke. Like, he said something along the lines of, like, it was- it's Pride Month, and then he tweeted, like, he, there was a picture of, like, a Pride flag on the White House. And he said some... back after two years. Oh. What did I miss? Oh, so much. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little genetic freak now. Anyway, I'm an experiment that I'm doing on my own body. It's fun. There's, um, but the guy said something along the lines of, like, the, this, this private, he tweeted a picture of a pride flag at, like, the American, uh, the White House or, or something. It was some government building. And he said, like, some... Ooh, Twelve uh, months subbing to the gremlin. Hell yeah. Something along the lines of, like, oh, I, like... I or people that I know would rather live under the uh, the Nazi flag than this, and then he got banned. Which, honestly, is kind of a tame joke for Twitter. Um, I don't think that that's... I'm, I'm, def I'm defending this guy. Uh, I don't think that he should have got banned for that. Um, but, you know... <laughs> he just... The denial that he was trying to get hormones to kids is bizarre. There's a 15-minute long video that was attached to the first tweet that exp or it wasn't 15 minutes long but it was a clip from a 15 minute long video where he was setting up a charity for the express purpose of helping quote unquote trans youth transition well what the fuck does that mean um i guess you could try and sugarcoat it and say well there's other parts of social transition besides taking xenoestrogen and shit like that um but that's the main premise of it is to get hormones to kids uh and he was freaking out because the, and to to solidify this you can't just dress it up as saying well this is helping um kids who are in trouble get access to doctors or whatever because the second bit of that was the legislation reaction where the parliament of the united kingdom had passed a ban on administering uh hormones to children for the purposes of treating gender dysphoria, uh, which he took issue with, and he said he was freaking out about, and all the doctors that he had networked with for this charity were freaking out about it because that means that you can't get estrogen into the hands of little boys. So to say that he wasn't trying to do that is a lie. Um, but of course, 
He doesn't. He knows that. He doesn't care. He's joking. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt on this one. Anyway, uh, he gave me a shout out to um to that I did a collab with Bell. Hell yeah, you're goddamn right. Dude does, dude does pornography. Oh, dude! Oh, fuck, man! Hold on, let me read this through. Look at this. Dude does pornography videos. Bell Dauphine, one of the most successful porn stars, has collaborated with him to help reach his target audience. Horny boys. What a gross, gross way to say adult ID checked. Like, a adults. Fucking... I don't know, I was gonna say men. Okay, let's uh, do this real quick. Finster Twitch. Insert not signed in, no ID check. He says that this is required to like access his pornography. Go to Finster. It links to his uh, Twitter account. Go to the Twitter account. Let's see. This is all porn. If you scroll down, it's just tranny porn. And there's the OnlyFans link. And so I went from one. I went to the PG13 Twitch.tv. I opened his account. I clicked the designated website, which he points to. It says, her pronouns are he, him, spicy, pointing an index finger to the OnlyFans link. And then here I am on the porn account, last seen 44 minutes ago, world's number one fin boy. So uh, you tell me what the point of doing collabs with other pornographers are. Uh, many teenage boys are going to be familiar with Bella Delphine. They're going to av avariciously collect anything that she's involved in. Uh, she's going to be doing a collab with him, and then it's two clicks away to being on his OnlyFans. Now, he says that it's ID checked. I'm not familiar with OnlyFans. I don't know if that's true. Um, I imagine that all he needs is a credit card. When he says that it's ID checked, I'm assuming that the limitation that that's imposed on you as a buyer of pornography is that you have to just have a credit card. I had a credit card when I was 13. Uh, my mom was very financially wise. Uh, she gave me a credit card, and I, I have a very high credit score because I've been building credit since I was 13. I had a credit card with a $100 limit. So if the limitation uh, for ID checking is just that you have access to a um, at one of the four major payment networks. Um, I managed to get access to one uh, with a credit card that my mom was a co-signer for when I was 13 years old. Um, it's not that hard. <laughs> I don't know why he would try to imply otherwise. Uh, now, it might be that in certain countries, like the United Kingdom, you have to submit ID, because I know that they have pornography laws. And maybe also in Texas, because I think there's a, a kerfuffle with that. Um, but I would be very surprised if they actually did do, like, a driver's license check for the average person just trying to buy a subscription to his account or whatever on OnlyFans. But, you know, don't discriminate, ladies. I'm not single, but, like, you can see my ass. <laughs> so, uh... so, anyway, I thought that was very funny. And then the second one. Through a combination of lighting, filters, angles, drugs, fair, surgery! Okay, so I'm aware that at this point he hits on me. Um, so, I was led to believe that he had uh, considered, because uh, he did that he had considered facial feminization surgery and then also uh, a rhinoplasty. Apparently he did not get the rhinoplasty, but he literally went to a doctor's office and talked about getting a rhinoplasty. So if I'm misled that he got any kind of surgery done on his face, um, that is because he's talked about it at length. Surgery? Oh shit, are you calling me cute for doing something like that? No. Oh, Josh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> this doesn't work on me, by the way. I'm a grown man. I'm not embarrassed. Uh, if a faggot wants to hit on me, it's not like, oh no, I'm so skewed out. He's being so weird and gross. Ah, that's a misconception. I actually don't give a fuck. Anyway, anyway, that's very sweet. I don't think you should go banned off Twitter. I'll talk to Elon for you. Don't worry. Um, he meets the porn industry standard of T girl. Not what I was aiming for, but I'll take it. I just, I just find it fun that they think I've had surgery because you know they've done, they've done their research. Of course, he's definitely had a nose job because there are other pictures of him where he's got like a full on like goblin hooked nose, and either he's got some kind of like new age chinky magic filter that takes off his nose, or he's had that shit filed down with a sander. Of course, maybe it wasn't a surgery. Maybe he just went to like 
um, some some Polish guy in London and was like, "Hey, you got like a like a like a motorized sander in your in your toolbox? And you like take off a few inches on this schnoz? I don't know. Maybe that's what he did. It wasn't actually surgery, but I'm pretty sure he's done something. They know me so well. Anyway, they go on to say about this fetish thing. The exp oh wait, no, I don't want to read. Hold on, wait, wait. I think that's on the next slide. Yes, it is. Okay, look, look, hold on. This bit is completely. I don't know what where the fuck this came from. I th okay, bine or bn. You say you need ID and they take a photo of your face and that's how they verify you. I've done it before. You subscribed to a Jewish pornography site to get access to femboy porn and they need your photo ID and also a webcam picture of you for facial recognition confirmation and you did this? Is this what you're telling me? This is a real thing. I need a confirmation that that's what you're fucking saying and that, that you actually went through with that. There's no fucking way. Uh, the stream is over until you tell me what the fuck. No, I didn't do... I didn't do it for this person. I did it for a BBW. <laughs> dude. I can't... I, dude, that is, like... I can't wait for the OnlyFans hack. And we're gonna get all these, like, driver's license photos and, like, um, like confirmation pictures of all these guys and their, their porn list. Dude, that's gonna end so many careers when that shit happens. I think this was just in the back of his head while he was writing about this, because his whole page is... Uh, like, Kiwi Farms is kind of, like, not liking trans girls, but whatever. I think this is just kind of in the back of his head from, like, in, trans people in his head. But, like, exposing young boys to transgenderism is called pink-pilling and is a fetish. You'll frequently see T's bragging about their pink pill count. I don't know what the fuck this is, but this is really gross. This is so... I don't know why the hell it's in the thread, but whatever. Anyway! Next fucking line, he profits directly off his off this via Twitch. Damn right I do. YT, that makes a loss. And OnlyFans, you're fucking right, dude. 0.01% hell. Yeah, dude. So, this makes a loss. 650,000 subscribers. Half a million subscribers. 250 videos. I don't know if that includes shorts or if shorts are like their own thing. So you mean to tell me that when you put out a 30 second long video about doing your eyelashes and it gets 1.7 million views, that that operates at a loss? Like, do you think I'm a fucking retard? Are you retarded? Are you retarded? If you're ma if you're putting out videos that get 250, 200, 400, 200, 720, 1.6 million, 740, like almost none of these don't break 100,000. Only like the most recent ones? For whatever reason, but everything before this video, Fimboys are going extinct. I don't know if you hit the wall between these videos or what. Um, but if you're saying that you don't make money off this channel, uh, you're either lying, which is probably what's happening, or you're taking that money and you're like burning it for whatever weird satisfaction. Um, but that is a fucking bold faced lie. Um, and then this. So sells sex toys through his comp his comp Okay, this is the only thing I got wrong. Um, he was reviewing uh, chastity cages on stream, showing the cock cages on stream. And as he was doing this, one of the, the representatives of the company contacted him directly over Twitch by DM and offered him an affiliate link at that time. He took the affiliate link and he advertised it. So they have a direct commercial relationship, even if he didn't advertise it too much. I assumed, because of the the um, reciprocal advertising for him on the, the, the product page, that this was something that he owned a stake in, because it would make sense. Like, you're the number one femboy in the world, according to OnlyFans statistics. Well, why wouldn't you sell your feminization tools um, and get a cut of that? I don't know. Makes sense to me. Apparently, your your YouTube breaking in multiple million view videos is at a loss. So I guess you got to be pulling some strings somewhere to make up the difference, right? Um, so I I was wrong that he doesn't own that company, but he definitely advertised it, and he definitely showed the products on stre stream to advertise it. Company, dude, CC Supplies, my dude. I want hold on. Look at the evidence. 
obviously this is okay the only real real quick let's do a, a, a break before he epically owns me that he doesn't own uh sissy supplies i gotta distract you guys before the hard-hitting facts come out one and then two let's take a look here schnoz 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 do you guys think that he has had facial feminization surgery or a rhinoplasty i mean like i don't know can can you do like reverse mewing to like reduce your chin and your jawline can you like get a polish man to sandblast down your nose can we, can we do a poll on this real quick let's do a poll um poll FFF surgery question mark yes vote one for yes vote two for no all right there it is there's the poll vote now i'll show you guys the images again vote one if you think that he's had a surgery to feminize his face vote two if you think it's all lights smoke and magic let's get an, let's get an official crowdsource diagnostic of what's happening with the schnoz chat don't vote if you're based that's the rule all right, votes is coming in and shit. So let me refer. Dude, the, for whatever reason, Kick is like constantly trying to force me to do Cloudflare verifications, and it really fucks with my um my plugins and stuff. It's just the biggest pain in the fucking ass. Show you again one more time. One or two. All right. 66, two-thirds of people believe that there has been some, um, oh, and one more thing. This is, um, he's had lip fillers. You can, like, that's not even a question. There's no way that that's makeup. There's no way that's camera work or illusions or whatever. He has had lip injections. And I guess you can argue that that's not a surgery because it's a like a locally applied like silicon whatever the fuck to like plump up the lips or whatever so that you don't look like you have thin masculine lips um but i would consider that surgery like if you were to apply this standard to to girls and you were like if there was a beauty standard for um lips with women that could only be achieved through injections um, you would say that's a beauty standard that encourages girls to, to get work done on their face. And it may not be like an invasive, like, like a facelift or something, but that's still work. That's still like a modification of your body. You don't naturally look like this. You look like this after you inject hormones into your ass for, for years. You look like this when you uh, go to a, a beautician and have them put fillers in your lip and probably a rhinoplasty. And you probably should get a, a FFS as well. Um, I know it's more invasive, but I'm just saying, like, probably should get around to that at some point. Lisa, she please don't trust me with the most <laughs> Dude, come on. I'd have branded my fucking... Listen, if I was going to sell sex toys, I'd have branded this shit so much better. I think it's this one. Yeah, someone says, like, oh, he's, this is not his store or something. He'd never do this. And it's like, you know, there's nothing to do with other than choosing whatever. Here's a video of Finster showing a cock cage on video on Twitch, discussing his experience with them, describing his penis, and making jokes with his chat about Minecraft. Number one, that's hilarious. Number two, this is a fucking lock-picking lawyer video. This is a public video, a non-age-gated video. This is just... <laughs> this has always been the most funny, like, thing. This is so goddamn funny to me that this is, like, a thing. That, like... Anyway... Th 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 uh, sorry, I'm going, I'm going insane here. In all fairness... It would have been really smart for me to make a sex toy company. That would have been so goddamn good. But what would I have sold? You know? Like, I'd get in... Dude. Would have fucking Finster branded. Like, it's got, like, my name down the side or something. You know? Own a whole... Oh, my God. No. Jesus. I could do, like, a cast of my... Dude. This stuff. But anyway. Um, this is so fucking funny. Because I just want to... I just want to quickly... I'm going to... I'm going to go on their website, please. Also, I don't... I don't... If you're into this stuff, go, go do you. But, you know, whatever. Uh, let me find their website. I'm not gonna show you their website, but what I will show you this time Like it's it's so duplicitous. Like why are you lying about the fact that you showed this on stream? It wasn't just the the lock the king lawyer video Like is this to convince his audience like who is this directed at because it's like a local stream? 
At least someone's re watching our. He brought this up on stream, know, right? Dude, showed it. Anyway, uh, the other and thing is, if you go on the site it. and then you scroll down to the bottom, uh, you don't even need to click a button, by the way. It just... I'm not going to show this on screen. Immediately shows it on screen. I'm looking at a, a cock cage on Twitch through this clip. I just don't understand like what what is trying to be communicated here. Ah! You know what? I'm glad that was the one it showed. Holy fuck, that nearly was bad. <laughs> Okay, apparently that was an accident, chat. <laughs> Fuck me! He just does it accidentally every so often. As a, as a, mis a silly anyway, mistake. Oh my god. <sighs> my fucking heart. Okay. Chant, I'm telling you, with what was on this site, that I got so goddamn lucky. <laughs> anyway, if you go down, if you just scroll down to the bottom of their site, it says who it's owned by. It says the parent company. It says where it's based. And I don't know if you're aware, I'm not in Pennsylvania. Um, I'm very openly British. It's something, it's an identity that I take very... I always thought he was Australian. It makes me so happy to know that he's British. Suffer, Angloids. This is you. This is what you look like. You are one bad day. You are one sissy supply away from looking like Finster. I don't care how fucking pug-faced you are. I don't care what sport team, kickball team that you're a fan of. One bad day. To be honest with you, this guy's not dumb. I'm not calling this guy an idiot. I'm saying, like, this guy's very clearly a like, clever person. He's running, like, an entire... I don't know how to fucking run a website, let alone, like, a, the, the servers for it, like, of my own thing. Uh, yes, he is. He's clearly not dumb. Like, in, in, like, an IQ, whatever the fuck you want to measure it in sense, you know? Like, he's clearly, like, relatively clever. He's just very willing to uh, not do research. Not everyone's a journalist, very, very clearly. Not everyone... I don't know, look, he's clearly not, like, he's reading information and then going, Okay, I believe that now. <laughs> As long as it's not from- sorry, he'll believe it as long as you're not trans. That's kind of it. <laughs> Anything on his site, keep up the good stream, can believe content. Content. I don't understand that, uh, that argument. Like, is he trying to be, like, complimentary in such a way to, like, diffuse me? And be like, oh, well, he said that I'm smart, so therefore I'm complimented, therefore I am disarmed. And that's not how it works. Um, most of the things that I said were based off the streams and things just, like, easily accessible, like, 11 months ago, was doing Minecraft video, is now doing, like, sex videos and and shit like that's like that doesn't require me to misinterpret something that's just how it is anyway the next one is this he profits through he also profits through sexual gratification interesting i'm asexual i wonder who told him that so um i okay this is one thing that is like bizarre to me um he claims in this as i say to him or in this this thread that he profits sexually he's gratified sexually by pink pilling kids which i assume because he is a Minecraft streamer turned, like, pornographer, and his Discord is still, like, 13+. Plus. And the only place that you're not allowed to be 13+, plus in, is his Twitch chat. Um, so I make an inference that it is sexually gratifying to him, because it would make sense, because for a lot of these people it is. I would say that's their primary motivation with having a young audience that's 13+, plus, and specifically facilitating, like, teenage, um, like, transitions. That's usually why they do it. In fact, I would go on out on a limb and say that's the only reason why they do it. But then he says, aha, you don't understand. I'm asexual. So you're an asexual pornographer. You're in a, you're in a homosexual relationship with another uh, T-girl. And you do porn with him. And you also do porn with um, Bella Delphine. And you also put out videos of you sucking dick. And you also sexually transition. Um, and do hormones. And now you've come out as gender fluid. And you sell cock cages through affiliate links. And your entire identity is based off of your, your gender transition at this point in time. But you're asexual. Okay. I'm just going to skip the rest of that. Fuck it. Um, we'll do the last three. How much is that? Oh, that's eight minutes long. Oh, that's the Soda Cat video. I feel like we... Maybe I'll just play this bit. If it's interesting, I'll go back. Soda wasn't the bad person, they just talked to a bad person. Yeah, I would... My personal opinion is I know <clears throat> I know Soda's not into that, obviously. I've known them personally for a really long time, and I know that they're not. But even still, the things that were said to that person was, like, joking about... Like, actively joking about minors, and... I don't know, man. It's it's a bit... It, you know, you can see where I'm coming from, right? It's a bit like, uh... You know, it's a it's a yikes. It's a, it's definitely a yikes moment. But, um... 
you know, they're working on their own thing now, I think. They've, they've got their own sort of life goal. So the, the soda cat, uh, Gene Hollywood, whatever the fuck, um, the sus thing that that Soda Cat said or Ella Hollywood said about um oh his, his name was is Gene or, or Jean or whatever but his uh, new name is Ella Hollywood. Um, this is a video that he sent to a the Goon Clown, and it just is a child porn like meme about being addicted to child porn as part of like a goon fetish, and he says I made this for them on uh, dopamine dopamine dopamine. So he was having active goon sessions with um with the goon clown, which the goon clown shared and bragged about in his goon discords. Um and this is the a very I think another I don't know how successful they are, um, but they're another like T girl porn star that uh Finster has met in person and done work with. And he's gonna say, like, well they said some kind of sus things about minors. Yeah, they said that they jerk off a child porn Finster. That's the sus thing. So to his credit, he does disavow that, I guess. That's more than most trannies, I guess, will say. I disavow the guy that goons to child porn. But only after they get caught. I'm going to end it there. I'm not going to watch the rest of that. There's no point. Um, obviously, he just gets away with whatever the fuck, because Twitch is just a citadel for, um, for people like him. Though I can wait. I'm patient. I know right now... Everybody under the trans flag or whatever the fuck is, is infinitely protected from the consequences of their actions. They're free to siphon off kids into little discords and, and try to get them to come out, quote-unquote, um, and nothing happens. And you can't call that out because you just get banned and shit. Uh, but one day that will change. And it may be years from now, but all this shit uh, will still be on the Kiwi farms. And I'm very patient when it comes to this. Uh, you can ask Caffles about it. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.